Welcome to Ethiopia Today. Our today's presentation covers a very important commentary written by high-profile scholar. We invite you to stay with us until the end. Like and share the video and support the channel so that we reach out to more audience as much we can. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification bell to Ethiopia Today channel if this is your first time. Then you won't miss out the exciting and very important videos we bring to you. Let's get into our presentation. On July 26, 2022, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed issued a statement underscoring the importance of gratitude and especially to the Almighty for having helped Ethiopia face extreme challenges. Prime Minister Abiy's statement on gratitude to the Almighty addressed the manifest divine intervention in Ethiopia's destiny. Prime Minister Abiy said all things are possible with the Almighty. Adapted for an English-speaking audience, his statement resonated the following themes. Ethiopia was down for the count as she faced internal enemies and the mighty leviathans of the world ganged up on her. But Ethiopia rose up and continued the fight with the Almighty on her side. Ethiopia stared the four horsemen of the apocalypse. War, pestilence or plague, famine, and death, and had her head bludgeoned and bloodied but unbowed. The freedom, Independence and sovereignty of Ethiopia was defended and preserved by the blood of patriots who refused to surrender to terrorists and their foreign bankrollers. Ethiopians have lost much to bear in lives, treasure and peace of mind but they have also been blessed by the Almighty beyond measure. Ethiopia will always be victorious because she has the Almighty as her defense. Ethiopia is blessed to have such a great civilization and it is our duty to protect, defend and preserve it and share it with the world. Ethiopia and Ethiopian have been blessed to finally take their place in the sun as the grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam shines its light on them. Thank God no matter what happens. Over the past four years, I have dedicated two commentaries to thank His Excellency Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed for all he has done for Ethiopia. I wrote the first note of thanks on December 31, 2018 in commemoration of his stellar achievements in the first eight months in office. I wrote the second note of thanks on April 2, 2021, on the second anniversary of his taking office. In April 2021, I was exuberantly optimistic hoping we had finally seen darkness and the princes of darkness disappear before the sunlight of a brand new day. Exultantly, I expressed my cherished hopes paraphrasing Shakespeare. We see the end of the long hard winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this sun, sun, of Ethiopia, and all the clouds that lowered upon our Ethiopia house, in the deep bosom of the ocean buried that was not to be. In November 2020, the terrorist TPLF attacked the Ethiopian Northern Command and tried to sweep away our Ethiopia house in a river of blood. But the Ethiopia house proved immovable. It is still standing and will stand until the end of time. Indeed, standing tall on a foundation of Ethiopian brotherhood and sisterhood and their unshakable faith in the Almighty. I thank God Almighty for keeping Ethiopia standing tall and proud. Ethiopia's enemies across the seas and oceans and its children turned enemies in its bosom wonder how Ethiopia always comes up on top and clinches victory against all odds. I feel like telling them to go and talk to our long-distance runners who crisscross the globe collecting gold medals like pebbles on the beach. But I know better. Paraphrasing the words of James Russell Lowell, Ethiopia is always victorious because she is protected by, troops of beautiful, tall angels who enshield her from all wrong and wrongdoers. Let Ethiopia's enemies be aware. Careless seems the great avenger, Ethiopian history's pages but record. One death grapple in the darkness twixt old systems and the word. 
Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Yet that scaffold sways the future, and, behind the dim unknown, standeth God within the shadow, keeping watch above his own Ethiopia. Our Ethiopia house keeps on standing tall and proud supported by the sinews of our fearless and vigilant Ethiopian National Defense Force and Regional Special Forces and their commanding officers. Thank you. Ethiopian National Defense Force and Regional Special Forces and Commanding Officers. I thank the people of Ethiopia for making me personally proud for so many things, but most specially for conducting a peaceful election in 2021 and for coming together as one in the TPLF war on Ethiopia. Ethiopia held its first ever democratic election certified by the African Union as free and fair. In many places, Ethiopians lined up to vote beginning at the stroke of midnight. When the terrorist TPLF swept across the land massacring, pillaging and plundering, Ethiopians came as one. One Ethiopia. There are so many to thank but space will not allow me to mention them all. Thank you all. Last but not least, I thank Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the ENDF, Dr. Abiy Ahmed. Six days after Prime Minister Abiy took office on April 2, 2018, I pledged to support him however long, arduous or difficult the journey may be to get Ethiopia on the road to peace and prosperity. I made my position clear three weeks after Prime Minister Abiy began work. I am convinced more than ever that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Ethiopians. That generation is Prime Minister Abiy's, not my hippo, older generation. Ethiopia's fate and destiny hangs in the balance of their success and failure. I will do whatever I can to make sure Prime Minister Abiy's generation succeeds because state failure, political failure, economic failure and social failure are not options for Ethiopia. For me, it has all been about Prime Minister Abiy's generation and the generation following. When Prime Minister Abiy took office, I made a promise I could not keep. I promised my generation, especially in the diaspora, will be water carriers as his generation did all of the heavy lifting in building Ethiopia. But the Ethiopian diaspora, especially the elites who have had opportunities to become water carriers have chosen the path of becoming lords of those doing the heavy lifting. So, as I thank Prime Minister Abiy, I also apologize to him personally for my failure and the diaspora's failure to not stand up when her enemies blustered Ethiopia was down and out for the count. I support Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed because he breathes Ethiopia, talks Ethiopia, walks Ethiopia, sleeps Ethiopia, dreams Ethiopia, imagines Ethiopia and leaves Ethiopia. Ethiopia is in his mind 24-7-365. Doggone it. That is what I do every day too. But Prime Minister Abiy does much more than breathe, talk, walk, sleep, dream, imagine and live Ethiopia. Prime Minister Abiy builds dams, roads, bridges and homes for poor grandmas in Ethiopia. He fights for Ethiopia in the battlefield and faces the enemy unafraid. He plans and develops strategy for the economy to deal with crippling sanctions. Prime Minister Abiy speaks truth to the high and mighty of the world on behalf of Ethiopia. He tells them I'd rather be a free Ethiopian in my grave than live as a puppet or a slave of terrorists and their bankrollers. Prime Minister Abiy is a man of integrity, honesty and will never compromise on Ethiopian unity and sovereignty. Prime Minister Abiy teaches, 
We are Ethiopians when we are alive. We become Ethiopia when we rest in her soil. Prime Minister Abiy teaches the willfully ignorant that the only way to win is with ideas not guns. Prime Minister Abiy plants billions of trees. He is about to complete the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Ethiopia will export wheat to the world for the first time in its millennia-long history. I thank Prime Minister Abiy for his Medema ideas. When Ethiopians understand the true power of Medema, Ethiopia will become Ethiopia Invictus. Ethiopia Unconquerable I and all Ethiopians who support Prime Minister Abiy have much to thank him for, but we would much rather thank the Almighty for giving us a leader who will lead Ethiopians in our exodus out of poverty into prosperity, out of the politics of ethnic identity into our national unity and inspires us all to come together not just in our humanity, but our greater divinity. Thank you Prime Minister Abiy. May God bless you and make your enemies your footstool. I know there are people who will say I am effusive in my praise and gratitude for all you have done. That I am blinded to your shortcomings and deficits. That I must think you are perfect to deserve such appreciation. My answer is simple. You are as imperfect as any man. What I look for in a man or woman is not perfection but content of character. Courage and grace under fire, literally. Courage of convictions integrity and commitment to truth, acceptance of responsibility, humility, authenticity, honor, compassion, respect, excellence, patience, tenacity, generosity, empath. But PM Abbey, to me, the greatest of all virtues is Ethiopia Winnet. To those ingrates who say I am too generous with my gratitude, I tell them to walk a mile in your shoes and tell me how it feels. Could you please tell me something? How does it feel to carry a nation on your back 24-7? How does it feel to walk among poisonous serpents? How does it feel to live among crabs in a basket that claw you down every time you try to rise up? How does it feel to carry the hopes, dreams and despair of 100 million people 24 hours a day? How does it feel to sleep 2 hours a night because the forces of darkness are awake 24 hours a day? I ask because I don't know. Truth be told, Prime Minister Abiy, I don't give a damn what the empty barrels say or do. I speak my mind because I am an intellectual in the mold of Edward said, the intellectual is an individual endowed with a faculty for representing, embodying, articulating a message, a view, an attitude, philosophy or opinion to, as well as for, a public, in public. Prime Minister Abiy, my philosophy and attitude today is Madama. Madama to build the new Ethiopia. When one billion fingers come together, Madama, we can build a new Ethiopia upon the hill. I say Madama. In the world for a better world for all of God's children. In my very first open letter to you dated April 8, 2018, six days after you became Prime Minister, I told you regardless of what happens, failure is not an option for you. It is not an option for me for all of us who believe and toil for justice, equality, rule of law, democracy and human rights in Ethiopia, all of us are invested heavily in your success because if you lose, we, the people of Ethiopia collectively, will be the biggest losers of life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Our only choice is to get it right this time around because we get only one chance. Prime Minister Abiy, I am guided by the wisdom of Harriet Tubman, the great African-American abolitionist and slavery fighter, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, 
the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. That is my message of hope and resolution for you as the great Ethiopian dreamer. You Prime Minister Abiy have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change Ethiopia, Africa and the world. Have no doubts you will succeed. Oh! One last thing before I finish. Don't worry. We will always have your back. Ethiopia Ween It Forever By Professor Alamayu Geba Mariam Professor Mariam teaches political science at California State University, San Bernardino. His teaching areas include American constitutional law, civil rights law, judicial process, American and California state governments, and African politics. He has published two volumes on American constitutional law, including American Constitutional Law, Structures and Process, 1994, and American Constitutional Law, Civil Liberties and Civil Rights, 1998. He is the senior editor of the International Journal of Ethiopian Studies, a leading scholarly journal on Ethiopia. For the last several years, Professor Mariam has written weekly web commentaries on Ethiopian human rights and African issues that are widely read online. This brings to the end of our presentation. Thanks for staying with us. Please also like, share, post your comments, and subscribe to our channel. These are the ways you can support Ethiopia today to continue producing these and similar contents. May God bless Ethiopia and its people. Thanks again.